wish people wouldn't talk about Great Britain as if the great in it means brilliant. It doesn't. It's not amazing Britain as opposed to stupid Belgium and crappy France. It means great as in big, which of course Britain isn't particularly, but it is in relation to Brittany. And historically that's the Britain Great Britain is greater than. So Britain is only great in that it's larger than part of France, while of course being significantly smaller than all of France. It's nothing to boast about particularly, and we make ourselves sound really stupid when we pronounce it as if it is. Particularly in the phrase, the great British public. That just means the public of the country Great Britain, and I wish politicians and newspapers would stop pretending it means the super, wise, talented, sweet-smelling public of Britain. Because there's a certain type of speaker who uses that phrase, and a certain type of listener who responds to it. It always comes freighted with a sense of, we know what's what here in Great Britain. The great British public won't stand for any nonsense. But of course we do, continually stand for all sorts of nonsense, and we absolutely don't know what's what. Or rather, and this is where it gets complicated, personally, I believe we do secretly know what's what. But a vital part of the what which we know is what is that we don't know what's what. And that's the thing about us which actually is great. Do you follow me? Of course not. How could you possibly? What I mean is that I do, in fact, subscribe to a subtle national superiority, but I also believe any voicing of it is mutually exclusive with it. What I like most about the British national mode is that it tends, at its best, towards self-deprecation. I like that, and I like the self-knowledge that it implies. If there is a national theme to our press, our comedy and our conversations, it's that we all think we're all idiots, and I like that about us. Self-awareness beats competence any time. We're no longer anyone's idea of a major power, but at least we know that. America, collectively, still acts like a teenager that thinks it's immortal. We, at our best, are more like a 65-year-old who's all too aware they're not. And the sort of politician who wants to big up Britain is directly attacking the last thing that's great about us. That whatever else is wrong with us, we're not the sort of country that bigs itself up. That, alongside our cherished ability to make Brittany look titchy, is what's great about Great Britain. But any attempt to say so helps to destroy it. Including, of course, this one.